Welcome everybody to another YouTube video. Um, today I kind of have a cool unboxing I'm going to say and it might be one of my first unboxings that I've done where I got a product early. Um, how I got it early, not because anything special, but uh, Nike for some reason um, is giving, um, if you're a member, uh, early access to certain shoes. So they did it with the uh, Korea uh, Superfly and the Korea uh, colorway Vapor and they did it with this one as well which as you can tell by the title it is the um, Safari Mercurial um, Superfly 7 um, I went with the Superfly version instead of the Vapor version for this one just because this is a big box so we're just gonna open it get right to it I'm excited to see these um, I, I didn't see the first variation of it um, for those of you that aren't familiar with what this cleat is um, it is uh, a sort of of a remake I'll put this down right here sort of a remake um, okay so they come in a special box but sort of a remake of um, the 2010, which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, was uh, Ronaldo's, Sean Ronaldo's CR7, uh, however you refer to him as. Um, it was his first official colorway that they released, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me on that. But it came out in 2010, and here's the box right away. It's kind of cool. So you can see it's a Safari print. Um, this is my size, 10.5. It looks kind of cool. I, I really like the box. Uh, I would definitely be saving the box. Um, um, so yeah, I don't know if the the um, the vapor version comes in the box. I'm sure it does. I'm sure it's the same. Like I said, the shoes are basically the same. It wasn't like back then where um, this version came out only in the Superfly version for Ronaldo um, because they were different shoes back then. So you had uh, the Superfly and then you had um, the vapor. There were two different shoes because they had different technologies. Um, again, I've said that Nike should just stick with, you know, having both models and just, you know, change colors or only give Neymar a Vapor version or give uh, only give um, CR7, you know, a Superfly and let people decide. They do do that with, with Neymar. They stopped making the um, Superfly version. Because, I mean, I don't think it's going to sell because he wasn't wearing that. He was wearing um, Vapors. Um, so if they could cut that down for Cristiano Ronaldo, I think that would help them as well. Um, people probably don't like that. I made a video on that explaining. I got some dislikes. It's just my opinion, man. You, you don't have to share the same opinion. Um, I'm just looking out for the company um, and what is best for the consumer, I would say. I would prefer different colorways or, like I said, certain signature athletes just sticking with the respective um, shoe that they wear. Uh, with that being said, though, let's uh, open these up and take a look and see what they look like. Okay, still some more cool little um, swoosh there with the Safari print. Um, I don't know if these are limited. I heard they might be, but they have not sold out, so... Um, you could definitely probably still pick up um, your own pair. I think they're coming out the 17th officially. I'm st not sure because it's kind of confusing for me since I am a member. I don't, I don't know if they're available or not. So I've read that they were available. I've seen other, you know, people saying that they're not available to 17th. I don't know. All I know is I was able to get my pair and I woke up Friday and these have been here. Actually, I've had them already for about two days but i just haven't gotten around to making the video i don't know why but it looks great it looks nice i must say um it's pretty cool i like it a lot actually i didn't know if i would like it um but it looks really cool i would say this orange just really really pops on the shoe and you can see it's very bright you got orange bottom orange right there the safari print you got your um Ronaldo Renal logo in the inside right there um it to me it's a, it looks like a great shoe this is this is really cool i like i said i didn't get to get the the first variation of it um there was a time where uh i kind of got out of the loop with uh i guess you could say with the shoe game in general not just uh 
football boots, but if you know, I am a big collector on um, uh, sneakers as well. And there was a time where I just was not into any of that and I kind of got out of the loop. So the original version, I knew, really knew nothing about other than when I tuned in to watch every weekend to watch them play. Um, these are really, really cool, I would say. And like I said, they put a lot of thought into the box. I don't know if the original came like that. I imagine it probably did. Um, well, let's take out the string bag just because. And Safari print as well. Um, I would say this kind of goes hand in hand with, um, uh, if you're familiar with uh, Jordans, you go hand in hand with um, the uh, elephant print that uh, was on the, the, the Jordan uh, 3, if you're familiar with sneakers, like I said. Um, but yeah, look at this is this is really, really cool. Again, nothing's changed as far as specs on the shoe. Um, so, I mean, what can I tell you? It's it's just a Superfly, right with Superfly. Um, and it's really actually just a vapor with this little bit added on collar right here. But let's see if there's anything else inside. What does this one have? Uh, this one just says um, CR7 in the inside see right there um they did make like uh, a children's line i believe of, of apparel and uh cr7 i guess you could call him cr7 jr um he is the head of that um so that's pretty cool for him you know to, to have it you know helps to have your father be who you are who he is you know and then you get some special privileges and stuff so that's kind of cool for him and that's kind of what the line is based off of for kids. Um, and there's some apparel and stuff like that. But to me, these are really, really nice. I, I like them. And I can't wait to play with them. Again, still waiting for this COVID thing to clear up, which I don't think it's going to clear up. Um, I actually went down to some soccer fields today, interesting enough. And it was crazy busy. That I feel like people are just starting to get desperate, starting to get a little bit uh, uh, flustered with being home. Um, but pfft, I don't know how long this is going to last and I'm just waiting to get that call that, you know, the league has started back on. Um, but I guess that's another topic for an, a different, different time, but you see the shoelaces are kind of cool. They're, um, Safari print as well. You got your Superfly 360 right there in the same spot as every other, uh, Mercurial. And yeah, it's a really good looking shoe. Really cool looking shoe, I would say. Um, again, specs the same as previous models, so nothing's different there. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys like this? Um, would you buy this? Like I said, again, I'm lucky I get stuff for a discount. I don't know what is the retail price on these. Two two ninety five. So I feel that is a premium price tag for these. Um, again, I don't, I don't, I would say unless you really, really like, you want to add it to your collection, then I would get them. But again, it's not a different shoe. There's nothing different about it. Unless you just want to wear the newest, latest, greatest model that is out, then go ahead and get these. I'm, or if you just want to add them to your collection, um, you know, I was really into that of just buying a shoe and just to keep it, but why you know it's just gonna sit there i might as well play in them that's the whole point of getting them so i've kind of changed my thought process and i want to wear every single cleat i want to wear every single sneaker that i have like i have shoes that i haven't unboxed i haven't even taken out of a box i have shoes that i haven't even opened up um when they've been shipped to me and that's all that has to change you know i i hope that if you are buying you know sneakers or you're buying um boots soccer cleats you know, I hope that you're wearing them. That's the whole point. That's what they're made for, to wear them. Um, it took me a while to get like that because, you know, especially when you get a nice white, you know, shoe like this, cleat, boot, you know, you kind of, you want to keep it clean. But hey, man, they're just shoes. They're made to be used. That's what you buy them for. You don't spend 300 plus dollars, you know, on them to just sit there. So if you're one of those, people that are, you know, having uh, 
regrets or thoughts about wearing them, just wear them. Trust me, just wear them. That's the whole point. Wear them. All right. Uh, with that being said, I hope you like this unboxing. Um, I, I I really like the. I'm just staring at it. I really like it. I really like it. It really. You can't appreciate it until you actually have it in hand. So I don't know if you can go down to a local shop maybe now that things are opening and, and check them out before you buy them. You know, that's always something you can do uh, or order them. If you order them from Nike.com, they, they have pushed their, extended their um, warrant, their, sorry, I don't know, not warranty, their return policy, sorry. Nike has stretched their um, return policy now to 60 days. So if you do purchase, you don't like, they don't fit, something is you don't like about them, you can take them back. You can take them back. So that's a good thing. 60 days now. 60 days, that's that's a really long time. Um, I purchased uh, some um, Phantom Venoms, the, the green, bright, bright green ones. And I, I, when I looked at them, I thought I was going to like them. And I got them. And I was like, I already have two pairs of these. What do I need another pair for? So I ended up returning them and I had played in them and it had been, you know, over 30 days. So I definitely know that they will honor that. And it's 60 days and they take them back. Um, I wouldn't recommend you taking them in dirty. I have made a video with, you know, and, and some, it just depends on, on, I guess, who's working, if they'll look at them or not, if they will try to say anything but i wouldn't take i wouldn't take them all in they're all muddy that's for sure but if you can't get them 100 percent clean you know i don't think you should worry about that just still just take them back um just let them know remind them of their policy i feel like some people we do have to be reminded um and that's okay and if they tell you no then just tell them you want to talk to higher up and keep going into you know, they follow their policy, I guess, which I don't think, I don't know why they wouldn't because it says clearly there. So hold on to your receipts or your order numbers, at least if you plan on, on, on buying a shoe and, you know, cause again, 300 is a big price tag. So maybe you buy them, maybe you regret it. You know, that $300 is a lot of money. If you're paying, that is a lot of money and it sucks that they keep getting more and more expensive, you know? Um, so I understand that, you know, sometimes uh, I, I feel like a lot of people who review the don't ever talk about that side, but because uh, either they have their job or they make enough or they get them sent to them or they just review them. You know, a lot of us people, I was one of those people that just watch reviews and, and, you know, I like to talk about both sides because I understand, I know how it is, you know, uh, it's better than, you know, if you need to take back a product. Because you need that money, there's nothing wrong with that. Go ahead and do that. Or if you have the spending money, you know, something comes up. You never know. You never know. So don't ever feel like because you watch videos of other YouTubers or maybe you watch my video and you hear me talk about what I have or, or stuff like that. Don't ever feel like um, you, sh you, you have to, just because you bought something, you have to take it back. I mean, that's the whole reason why these companies offer their return policies. So just keep that in mind, you know. Um, like I said, I'm honest with the stuff that I keep or the stuff that I return. Probably about 95% of stuff that I bought, I've kept. Some of the stuff that I shouldn't have. Um, but again, that's my own stupidity. Um, don't let it be yours. <laughs> so I know this video kind of went all over the place and, and, and it went down maybe somewhere you weren't expecting because it is a unboxing it is a review of a shoe but i feel like that stuff just goes with it you know and we have to talk about real life there's been so many issues going on in the world that sometimes we get wrapped up and and we don't we forget about real life and and that's what's important here not shoes not cleats not even money it's just you know real life just remember that um so hopefully you like this video if you came to this channel and you're new go ahead subscribe um, leave a comment, send me an email, email is in the link. Um, check out my other channel. If you're into like podcasts, different stuff, random stuff. Um, I'll be doing, I still do that once in a while on my other channel. Link is in the description. Um, I don't know. Oh yeah. If you're into my merch, this is, uh, another one. I, I printed on a, on a Nike dry fit shirt. Um, yeah. Um, if you're in, if you want one of those still, 
um, hit me up. These are going to be around for a little while. Like I said, I'm going to be um, changing colors of shirts, changing, changing color of um, prints, stuff like that. So um, let me know if you want, those, want one of those. Shoot me an email and we can talk about that. So stay tuned, guys, for more video, more content. Stay safe out there. Um, yeah, just stay safe, man. Hopefully the world will get better. Have a good one. Peace.